Hey guys, it's George. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be turning myself into a frat doll. Um, I used to love frats when I was younger, so I thought it would be a really fun idea just to like turn myself into one. But if you do enjoy this video, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. For today's video, I thought it would be quite fun to try and turn myself into a brat doll. So I know this was like a huge thing last year and also I've seen like loads of TikToks on people turning themselves into like brat dolls. So I thought I'd like hop on the trend and turn myself into a brat doll because like when I was younger I used to love brats. I was such a brat over a Barbie girl. And so yeah, why not try turning myself into one? So I'll insert a picture here of what I'm gonna be turning myself into. Um, I think it's Chloe, but she's got green eyes. I swear Chloe always had blue eyes. I don't know, maybe someone like edited it. But that's sort of the plan. So I thought like, let's just give it a go and see how it turns out. So for the base, um, for my primer, I'm gonna be using Max Strobe Cream in the set in the shade gold light and i'm also going to be mixing in some sleek highlighting drops in the shade pop in bottles just to give like a really sort of like glowy base because i feel like they always have that like super flawless like glowy skin like that's how i just imagine them to have it in real life like obviously they're not going to have like actual highlighter on their face because they're a brat doll but you know i thought it would just be fun to give them some glowy skin um but yeah, just taking like my normal brush just to blend all the primer in. And then I'll go in on top with some highlighting drops. And then for the highlighting drops, just nose, cupid's bow, chin, cheekbones, and then this little bit of your nose, like the bridge of your nose, is that the bridge? I don't know. And then just blend them in using a beauty blender. And then for foundation today, we're going to be taking a mix of two Wet n Wild foundations. So this is Desert Beige and this is Golden Beige. So I'm just going to be mixing them together because I've not got a full fake tan on. Um, but yeah, we're going to use a stippling brush today to apply foundation and then go in with a beauty blender over the top. Just because, like, Bratz dolls have really flawless skin. Like, obviously, they're dolls, so they don't have spots or anything like that. So, um, using a stippling brush will, or like a flat buffer brush, will make your skin more flawless than using a sponge. I feel like using a sponge gives you, like, a more natural look, which is obviously great, but, um... Not when you're trying to be a brat doll, you know? Also, I don't know if you guys have heard that, like, the soundtrack to all these people creating themselves as brat dolls on TikTok. And it's like, ooh, brats. Uh, yeah, well, I'm not going to say anymore because I can't sing. But it's in my head at the moment, like, constantly. So that is the foundation basically done. As you can see, like it creates like a proper flawless base um, if you're using a brush rather than a beauty blender. Um, so this brush is actually from a pack of like loads I got off Amazon called like Jessup brushes, I think. Um, but they're really cheap. So if you're looking for like a big set of cheap makeup brushes, I think they're like thirty pounds for like fifteen brushes or something. They're actually really good quality brushes. So if you're looking for something like that, then I'd recommend. Um, but yeah, next we're going to go in with highlighter. Highlighter today, we're going to use a Revolution Conceal and Hydrate Highlighter in the shade C8.5. Um, yeah, and then just put this under the eyes. Forehead. Chin. Nice. And then I'm actually going to blend these out with a beauty blender. Okay, and so that is a concealer done. As you can see, it's like really brightened up my under eye. And I think my skin looks pretty 
pretty flawless so now we're gonna set this all in place and then move over to the eyes and then I'm gonna like finish the bronzing and highlighting at the end once I finished eyes so for the powder we are just gonna be going in my Laura Mercier translucent powder like literally my favorite powder ever so yeah just set the base to make sure it's not going anywhere Do you know what? I don't actually think the skin looks really nice. Um, looks really flawless, so loving that. Okay, so for brows, the Brat Stubs always have like very arched brows. Um, my brows are quite flat, but we're gonna attempt to like arch them and sort of see how they turn out. So for brows, I'm just gonna be going in with my NYX Micro Brow Pencil in the shade, I wanna say it's Ash Brown. And then for the brow hairs, just using my Benefit Gimme Brow, I wanna say this is called, but I think it's rubbed off. But yeah, just use them and try and create as much of an arch as possible and just create like really sort of like nice brows. So that is the next step. So I'm just going to start by like brushing them all out. Um, but like I said, my brows are super flat, so I'm not really sure how well this is going to go. But you know, we'll see. So they're not super arched, um, I can't actually make my brows that arched, but we're just, we're just going to go with it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish my brows, do one eye, and then come back and show you guys what it's looking like. But yeah, basically, just try and arch your brows as much as possible, but if you've got flat brows, it's quite hard. Just try and try and make them kind of arched. Um, but yeah, so quickly, can go off camera, do one eye, and finish this eyebrow, and then we'll come back and finish this eye. Okay, so this is the like little brat's eye that I created with like this inner corner bit. Um, I really like it. I think it's quite cool. Um, yeah, so I'll show you how to do it on this side. So I'm going to be using quite a few different products to do this. But obviously I'll talk you through everything that I use. So basically the first step that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to prime your eye. So I'm just using the concealer that I used earlier and then just put that on your eye. And then with a flat brush, just basically spread that all out. And then to set that all in place, I'm going to be going in with the colour Lynn from the Jeffree Star Morphe colour, which is just like a, a plain white nude, and then just pat that all on just to give like a really nice base for us to blend on to and then for the first like transitiony color we're going to use the anastasia beverly hills modern renaissance palette and use the shade warm taupe which is like a light soft brown so basically just run that all into the crease um I, when I first started doing this, I thought it looked a bit messy and a bit dirty because I'm not used to using such cool tones in the crease. But I think it actually works out quite well in the end. I think you just got to, with looks like this, just keep going until it looks together. And also, I always feel like once you put lashes on, it looks so much better. Um, just pulls the whole thing together, you know? Next, going in with the Modern Renaissance palette again, using the colour Cypress Umber, which is just like a dark brown, and then focus this mainly in the outer corner of the eye, and we're creating like a sort of a feline look, because like Brat Stars have really big eyes with like the feline kind of look. So just kind of focusing this dark brown all in the corner, because the Brat Style that I chose had quite like a dark brown smoky eye with like a bit of pink. And then next, going back in with Cypress Umber and just sort of like blending it all together. 
And then I went again, same palette with the color Real Gut, which is like a bright orange, and sort of blended this slightly on top of that, just to create a little bit of warmth, um, but nothing too crazy. And then just keep rotating between these brushes and get the perfect blend that you want. And then next with the concealer that you use to set your base and all that, just get a tiny bit on a flat brush. It doesn't matter what brush, just a little bit. I'm using this like really old Bobbi Brown brush. Um, I'm not even sure if it's actually Bobbi Brown, but yeah, just use any flat brush that you have and create a half cut crease. So just with a flat brush, you can see it literally just cut the crease. <laughs> I'm not very good at explaining how to do it, but I feel like if you just follow your natural eye shape and I feel if you do small little strokes it works better than if you do like one big stroke right and then once you have the like slight outline of a cut crease um go back in and set it with the first color that we set everything with so i'm just using the shade lynn from the morphe palette with jeffree star So then it kind of looks a bit like this. And then next, I am taking just like a small little brush and the color Custom Rims from the Jeffree Star Morphe palette. So this is a really pigmented silver. I was actually really surprised how pigmented and nice this silver was because I don't know about you guys, but I do find silver eyeshadows a super hit and miss. Um, and some just aren't as pigmented as others, but this one, yeah, it's really happy with. And then just follow your cut crease, and it kind of looks a bit like that. So you've got this little silver bit now. And then next, going back into the Jeffree Star palette, using the shade Pink Fleet, which is sort of like a purpley, bright colour. And then just put this on the inner corner and sort of blend outwards. Um, just because in the picture she had like a pink, a hint of purpley pink in like her inner corner. So we're just gonna follow that out. So just basically going above where we'd put the silver. And then go back in with the silver just to make sure the line is really sharp. And then take like a brown sparkly shade. So I'm using like a really old Lick and Lash Beauty palette. And it's just like a brown sparkly shade. But any colour you have will do. And just sort of blend that into the silver at the edges. Okay, cool. And then now to create the like inner corner bit so i'm taking a nyx white liquid liner in the shade white um and basically drag it into like a little triangle point and then back in if that makes sense so this is a super old crusty eyeliner i won't lie to you so it does crack a little bit but it gives like the same effect as like any other white eyeliner so just a white liquid eyeliner and create a little triangle to make it in a corner And then once you've kind of got like a bit of a white V, I am then going in with my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in the shade Milk and sort of put this in the waterline here to like halfway and then the other half put black in um, because obviously we want to make the inner corner look as like bright as possible and then darker towards like the end. So just white in the first half and then black in the second half. So for the black eyeliner, I'm going to be using a Clinique Quick Liner for Eyes. 
in the shade Intense Ebony. So, and then taking my black Kat Von D tattoo liner in the shade Trooper, um, what you're now going to want to do is like outline the white bit just so it makes it look more like an eye, if that makes sense, and then add a wing. So, that is the next step. And then once you sort of finish the inner corner with your black eye line, sort of follow the black line here all the way around to create a wing. And then once you have done that, we're just going to finish off the bottom eye. So taking the brown shimmery colour, just put that underneath the dark part of the lash. And then going back into the purple colour, sort of put that more on the front and then blend it outwards. And then next, add lashes and mascara, and then we will finish off the rest of the face. So for bottom lash mascara, make sure to only concentrate it in the dark area and not where the white bit is, because obviously you want to give the effect of like a bigger eye. So the lashes I'm going to be using are the Ardell Faux Mink Wispies. So I'm just going to apply them, and then we'll come back and finish the face and the lips. This is the eyes done. So next we're going to move on to face. Obviously they have like. A lot of blush on sorry i keep looking over here because that's where my photo is um she wears like a lot of blush um obviously they're meant to look as like, perfect as possible so i guess we're just going to do like some bronzing contouring add some blush and some highlight so i'm going to start with doing a bit of contour so i'm going to be using my charlotte tilbury film star bronze and glow palette and use the bron the contoury shade just taking like a little flat brush thing and then we are just going to contour the cheeks and forehead and chin not chin jaw Brats have a really like snatched nose, like all their nose is like basically not there. So we're gonna try and contour my nose. Um, I've never really been one to contour noses, but um, we're gonna give it a go. So I did see this little hack that if you draw a circle on your nose, it creates like the perfect button nose. So I'm just going into my Hula bronzer, and we're gonna see if we can do this. Is that looking more buttony? A little bit. Maybe if we just try and blend out this circle a bit more. I don't think it looks that bad, you know. Um, okay, so that is contour. And then for bronzer, uh, we're gonna choose the Hula Benefit bronzer. And then for highlighter, we are taking the High Impact Highlighter in the colour Extra by Morphe. And then just taking that brush that we highlighted, um, we contoured our nose, just draw like a tiny little circle with the highlighter on it. Like so. And it makes it like even more like buttoning. Obviously, if you're staring at me and I just had a circle on my nose of contour, it might not look great. But 
as a brat style. I think that's fine. Um, and then I'm just gonna put some on our cheeks, our cupids though. And then, yeah. And then for blush, we are gonna take the 17 stamp blush. Um, it's just basically a little, because it's like quite pink, I thought it'd be quite good. And you basically like click it in and it's like a stamp. So I just stamp two of them onto your cheeks and then blend it out. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna just sort of carve out our cheekbones, um, just any loose powder you have, just draw a little line underneath, leave it for 30 seconds, and then we will remove it. But just because they have like such perfect faces, like, and they have like really round cheeks, so, you know, give this a go. Okay, so that is the face done, and then next it's going onto the lips. So obviously brats have like really overlined big lips. Um, I'm not really one for overlining my lips, so I think they're quite naturally big already. Um, but we're gonna try like overlining them a little bit, just to like create more of like a brats look, rather than just doing my normal lips. So my doll's got like a pink nude sparkly lip, so we should have a go at recreating that. Okay, so we've got a few lip products, I'm really sure it's gonna work best. Um, so to outline our lips, we're going to be using the NYX um, lip liner in the shade Free Spirit. I'm really worried. I don't know how to start. Did they look overlined? I can't tell. Okay, so I think that's kind of the lips. And then we're gonna go in with Snob, which is a MAC lipstick, and which is like a really pink. Um, and just fill it in. Oh my God, I haven't used this in so long, this color. I'm just gonna try and blend the two together a bit more. Mm, is that the color of her lips? Yeah, maybe. Okay, and then we're gonna go in with the Primark lip gloss in the shade Candy, and this is like a pink sparkly lip gloss, and her lips are pink and sparkly, so yeah. So those, this is basically the whole makeup look. Um, I think it's quite bright. Okay, so now we're gonna get changed, do my hair, and then see what the finished outcome's like. So I've brushed my hair, um, I've straightened it, but her hair was like straight, like in front of her face. Um, I had like this big necklace, she had like a big sparkly one, but I don't have a big sparkly necklace. And then I just put on this like oh poly dress, cause she had like a white off the shoulder jacket with a big belt. Um, but yeah, so this is the finished Bratz inspired look. Um, this was really fun to film because I really felt like I was going back into my childhood cause bloody loved brats when I was younger. They were so fun. Um, so it was really fun to like dress up as one and it was quite fun to do like some more like creative makeup. Um, but yeah, so I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give this video a big thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching as always and I'll see you next time.